Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Ace Ben Dead with Smell Better Fragrance. I am your host, Ace Benz, and I'm back with another video bang. Yo, over here, we talk about fragrances and all things to improve your lifestyle. As always, we want you to do better. We want you to feel better. We want you to think better. We want you to smell better, yo. If you find this content interesting, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Help my channel grow. Share this content and leave a comment down below. Hit that notification bell so that you never miss a show. This is another weekly fragrance rotation. This is week 13. This is the 13th installment, man. Let's get into it. Let's get it. Let's go. On Monday, I went with a new addition to the collection. And this is from the House of Paris Corner, the Mirror Celestial. You know, this got some mineral notes, some saffron, some suede, some violet leaf, some Aquila wood, Immortel, some mandarin, some Chinese osmanthus or something like that, man. This, man, I can't say those notes. I got to look into them, do a little bit of more research to figure out what they are, what they're supposed to smell like. But let's just talk about the juice that's in this bottle, man. This scent, man, it's distinctive. It's flowery. It's musky. Man, it's an attention getter. It's, it's just an intoxicating fragrance, man. It's luxurious and it's a pleasurable fragrance, man. And really, it's long lasting. It's very versatile and it's a captivating fragrance. It's alluring and elegant. It's just one exotic fragrance, man. Whether you're going out of town or just want to add this luxury or a little luxury to your regular routine, man, this is a good fragrance for you to have, man. It is Celestial by Amir Paris Corner. Now the next fragrance I got for you, man, on Tuesday, I went with Mula Mula. Yeah, I'm wearing this one out, man. I'm killing this fragrance, man. Ever since I got a sample, I've been wearing it over and over again. Why? Because I love it that much. I mean, you got notes of peach, some caramel, some strawberry, some raspberry, some pink peppers, some ginger, latinum, some amber, vanilla, and some patchouli in this fragrance, man. Then you got some musk and just a little bit of oud, man. Yo, this is one intoxicating fragrance. It's a hypnotic fragrance, man. The fruits and the spices give you this gourmand routine, man. This gourmand flavor, man. Yo, this fragrance is delicious. It's just mouth watering. No joke. I mean, you got this juicy peach and some bright red berries, creamy vanilla, amber, and caramel. No matter how much I spray this, man, it never turns cloying, man. This is a good fragrance. It's hard to overspray because it's light and airy just like that, man. It's a very good fragrance, man. Or if I have oversprayed, nobody said anything about it because high praise is all I get when I put this fragrance on. A special day, man, it was my son's graduation and, um, I was with the family and I wanted to do something more tamed, more suitable, more versatile, more loved by everyone to come in contact with this fragrance, man. So I went to a classic. And again on Wednesday, I went with the one and only Blue de Chanel EDP. Top notes, grapefruit, lemon, mint, pink pepper, some bergamot, aldehydes, and some coriander. In the middle, you got some ginger, nutmeg, jasmine, and some melon. And in the base, you, you top it off in the base with some incense, some sandalwood, patchouli, amberwood, and some more latinum. Man, this is a sensual and fresh, clean fragrance, man. It's beautifully blended and it's invigorating, man. It is so sophisticated. Man, this fragrance is a pur for cold and warm weather, day or night, work or play, man. It's a gorgeous, appealing fragrance. It's a modern classic with pretty good longevity and projection, man. You can't go wrong when you hit the house of Chanel. And the EDP, the best in the line, in my opinion, man. I love this fragrance. Now, on the Thursday, I went with another banger, man. And this is from the house of YSL, and this is Y EDP. Man, this is so good, so fresh, man. You got notes of ginger, some apples, some bergamot. In the middle, you got some juniper berries, some sage, and some geranium. And in the base, you got amberwood, tonka bean, cedar, and vetiver. Yo, this is an uplifting, fresh type of fragrance, man. It's, it's masculine and it's seductive as well. It's mass appealing and very likable by many. Man, this is very, very pleasurable. This is a good fragrance. It's a special fragrance, man. It works for all occasions, man. It is a crowd pleaser and it gives you, or it gives me this professional, everyday boss type of vibe, man. It's refreshing with some sweetness and herbs 
man, this aromatic is versatile, dependable blue fragrance that it doesn't smell like the rest of them. It don't. You don't get that sharp apple note on the rest of the fragrance, man. No fruits at all, to be honest with you. You can't pick it up other than the grapefruit and blue de Chanel, but this apple, it stands out. Yo, this is a beautiful fragrance. Again, YS Y-S-L-Y E-D-P. Beautiful. Done well to perfection. Now on Friday, Friday, I went with the House of Dior, and this is Dior Home 2020. This is a woody fragrance, man. You got top notes of bergamot, some pink pepper, and some elemi. Yo, in the middle, you got notes of cashmere wood, atlas, cedar, and some patchouli. And in the base, you got some iso e super, some Haitian vetiver, and white musk. Man, this fragrance right here, man, it's woody, it's intense. It's warm, it's sensual, man. This fragrance is highly versatile and it's very appealing, man. When I first got this, when I first got my nose on this fragrance, man, it was in a decant and yo, I fell in love immediately. And the very next thing I did was order the full presentation, man, because this fragrance is that good and it works, man. It's last and yo, it's a beast of a fragrance, man. It really is, man. I got a couple of compliments wearing this on Friday. I mean, the best compliment was I had a coworker come in Walked around, walked down the hall to my office and said, yo, as soon as I hit the hallway, I smell your fragrance, man. Yo, that's good. And I I don't think I went with but like four or five sprays. And it was projecting like that, man. Very good fragrance. Great fragrance. Now on to Saturday, man. I went with a pure beauty of a fragrance. This is from the Niche line. Um, Goldfield and Banks and this is Bohemian line. This is such a beautiful fragrance, man. If you don't know about this, you should get your nose on it. Honestly, man, this is a great fragrance. Man, you got Australian finger lime, whatever that is, man. You got some bergamot, coriander, atlas cedar, some vetiver, and sandalwood. Man, this fragrance is so soothing, it's invigorating, it's fresh and spicy, it's masculine. This is a unique, an easy to love type of fragrance, man. It's sweet and tart at the same time. It's fruity. You got this zestiness to it. It's electric, it's aromatic, and very vibrant, man. It's a beautifully done fragrance, man. This is a summertime delight, beginning to the end. Yo, it's a classic fresh scent, man. Yo, very good fragrance on Saturday. Bohemian Line by Goldfield and Bates. I'm gonna have to try the rest of the line out because this one was done to perfection. Now on a Sunday, I went with a classic, one of my old faithfuls, man. And this is from the house of Prada, and this is Prada Lone. So you got top notes of neroli, some black pepper, some cardamom, yo, and some carrot seeds, I believe. In the middle, you got notes of iris, some violet, and some geranium. Yo, and in the base, you got some amber, some cedar, some patchouli, and some sandalwood, man. Yo, this is a clean, powdery iris, man. It smells sophisticated. It's soapy. It's clean. It's elegant. Yo, it's a confidence-boosting type of fragrance, man. It's a very inviting scent. Yo, Prada Loam is my secret weapon. It's perfect for the office or anywhere, to be honest with you, man. It's so beautifully done. It's versatile, and it's a simple, classic, it's simply classic iris scent, man. And this is a masculine vibe that it gives off, man. Great sillage and great compliments come with this fragrance, man. It's beautiful. If you don't have Prada Loam, get your nose on it, man. It's a great one to have in your collection because it's a do-it-all type of fragrance, man. It's good for the summer. It's good for the fall. It's good for the spring. It can work in the winter too, man, because it's, it, it's got depth to it and it will carry. So again, try this fragrance out. Try this fragrance out if you hadn't already. Yo, so that's about it for me, guys, man. If you have either of these seven fragrances, let me know. If not, I suggest you give them a try. Yo, good energy, positive vibes, safe lives. Like always, follow the plan because we want you to be better. We want you to think better. We want you to feel better, and we want you to smell amazing. With that being said, I'm out. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Help the channel grow. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you're rocking. Like always, I thank you for watching. I'm Ace Benz, aka Ace Benzetta with Smell Better Fragrance. Until next time, smell good, smell better, and we'll smell you later. Peace.